안녕하십니까 낭만주연입니다 데스 낚시에서 사용하는 루어의 움직임이 얼마나 진짜 미끼와 닮았는지 하는 것은 루어를 만드는 제조업체 뿐만 아니라 이를 사용하여 배스를 잡는 낚시인에게도 역시 중요한 문제일 것입니다. 이런 궁금증에 대하여 개인적으로 친분 있는 미국의 지미리아오 박사가 아주 오랜만에 유튜브에 올린 영상이 있어서 이를 소개해 봅니다. 오늘 소개하는 내용은 미국 플로리다 대학의 연구소에 근무하는 지미리아오 박사가 그가 운영하는 유튜브 채널에 올려놓은 얼마나 사실적인 룰을 만드는가 하는 주제 이면에 숨어있는 과학이라는 제목의 영상으로 지미 박사로부터 사용 허락을 받아서 번역하여 올립니다. 그리고 지미 리아오 박사의 유튜브 채널 주소와 이 영상의 원본을 보실 수 있도록 설명란에 기재해 두었으니 참고하시기 바랍니다. 그럼 시작해 보겠습니다. Jimmy Liao from Fish Code Studios. Today we're going to talk a little bit about swim bait science. your bait being worked back to the boat you could think man that looks really fishy or whoa that looks awesome but how do we really know if our lures are matching exactly how a real fish is swimming we want to know how bait fish look as well as move so wouldn't it be nice to know if the motions of our swim baits match that of a real fish swimming well there's a field of science called biomechanics that does exactly that It measures precisely the motions of how animals move. Now scientists do this because nature's inspirations are often far better than anything we can engineer or design ourselves. My scientific expertise is in fishes and I study how they swim. Now one of the key questions for swim bait designers is how do you mimic exactly how a real fish swims? And we all have swim baits in our tackle box that range from one segment to two segments to 10 segments. But are more segments actually better? Not necessarily. Fish are flexible in certain parts along their bodies, but not others. Now, how might we go about studying this? First, we need to look at a real fish swimming, then perform a computer analysis of their swimming motions, treating their body as a series of segments. Now, starting with one segment in pink, you can see it doesn't match the actual shape of the fish in blue. One segment will look like this, two segments, would look like this, and three would look like this. Now what this approach allows me to do is determine how many segments does it take to get to a real fish. The graph you see shows accuracy on the horizontal or x-axis and the number of segments of the swim bait on the vertical or y-axis. Here's our one segment swim bait. And you can see that it's only 5% accurate. Two segments, you get to 60%, and three segments, you can get to 80%. Five segments would get you to 90%. We can finally measure and quantify the behavior of a swimming fish and a swimming swim bait. Now, you can go up to 10 segments, and that would make it really accurate, or would it? Some parts of the fish aren't that flexible, so you don't need 10 segments. Now the kicker is that to mimic steady swimming, which is the preferred retrieve for swim bait anglers, slow and steady, five segments is pretty good. But for turning, it might take fewer segments. Nature's designs are so much more sophisticated than anything we humans can engineer to date. So a real fish can use its body as a five segment robot or a two segment robot, depending on its behavior. It all boils down to how the fish is behaving. So glide baits, for example, they could have one or two segments and turn just fine. But if you retrieve it steadily, it's just not gonna mimic a real fish swimming. For swim baits, think bang for buck. Think of protein ingested versus energy expended. And in this case, bigger isn't always better. A swim bait might not need to act exactly like a real fish. It just needs to seem like it's swimming inefficiently or unaware. Jimmy Liao signing off from Fish Code Studios. Until we meet again, stay safe and stay curious. So if you like what you see, please subscribe. 
As scientists, we're in the lab kind of measuring things all the time, but it's really you guys as the anglers in the field that are seeing interesting fish behaviors. So if you got a tip on swim bait fishing or an observation of a cool fish behavior, please leave a comment below. Thanks. Ruoi的影響力是很大的。如果你的影響力是很大的，那么你的影響力是很大的。如果你的影響力是很大的，那么你的影響力是很大的。如果你的影響力是很大的，那么你的影響力是很大的。如果你的影響力是很大的，那